ஹிலரிமா கிளறிட்டீங்கமா Thank you so much for clicking on this video and thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. With that being said, welcome to another episode of Dad's Den. My name is Ken. I love doing reaction videos with you guys. You guys are my team. You guys are my family. It's amazing. This is how it works, okay? You guys are going to suggest a video to me. I'll watch it. We'll react to it together. We'll comment. We'll talk about it. So if you want to be part of that team or if you want that sounds good to you, consider subscribing below. A lot of suggestions for this. this is going to be Alexander Brabu, American Super President. Obviously, this is stand-up comedy, so please don't get offended. Just laugh along with it. Enjoy it. This should be fun. Um, I love stand-up comedy, so let's get started. How many of you are following elections, by the way? Elections? I'm talking about uh, Tamil Nadu local civic body elections. Will not take care of anybody? Civic bodies? You know what civic bodies take care of? They take care of some issues. I don't know whether you care about electricity. You like electricity? Uh, yeah. Um, you know, drinking water, inner roads, street lights. But I guess, you know, we don't care about the local bodies. We would rather get excited about some foreign bodies, no? <laughs> All the people following American presidential election, make some noise, guys! <laughs> oh, boy. Evening, this is back in 2016, so... Very knowledgeable people here, man. But uh, it, it's definitely, I don't blame you guys. I, mean, I think U.S. presidential election is a lot more entertaining, man. <laughs> it's a lot more entertaining. U.S. presidential election is nothing less than reality show, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like Airtel Super Singer or Big Boss or something. It is a high budget reality show. There are multiple contestants, they go through multiple rounds, eliminations happen, finally they boil down to two candidates, you know? And this is so candidates true. candidates fight it out in front of live audience. Yes, in front of live audience, again, you have three rounds, two people, one voting, one title, then they choose the world's big boss, also known as the American president, yeah? <laughs> okay, can you make some highlights from that show? Are you guys ready? Welcome back, America. This is round number two on US presidential election 2016. This is America in Brahman. Powered by people's tax money and also the money we get from oh, the poor country. It is so world. true. It's ridiculous. Congratulations, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton on finishing a round two. Roman Allah Panding. But judges in the Ranan Paklam. Oh, these judges. Hillary Ma. Hillary Tigma. Wow. Especially when you talk about that foreign policies. Wow! It was very clear in foreign countries. You killed. Wow! And we can't believe you are a grandma. Wow! What an energy! Oh. What a stamina! Hats off! But Hillary, an improvement. Your voice modulation. Not a other room. When you start talking, it gets like you keep going. <laughs> too much. Did you see the other guy? I don't know. Rinde line of Mati Mati Suli Kursi. If you can dumb things down, if you can dumb it down, no need to best up on all the best looking forward to the next round. Pam, 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 Trump. Man, what a comeback from the first round. Hats off, yeah. Content alarm is good. Performance lay at the No content for the performance. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> One improvement, yeah? Your body language. <laughs> First of all, what is his hairstyle? And why do you keep your mouth like this? <laughs> dude, it's so true. He's a weird looking dude, man. This is a reality show. You know, you know you're an actor, but where is your body? It's not working. Everybody knows your character, but it's not coming through your body. For example, you turn to Hillary and say, Hey, Hillary, you're calling me unfit. I'll put you in jail. I can do anything. For that conversation, I think your body has to go like this. Your delivery has to be something like, Hey, Hillary, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> You are calling me unfit. Hey, fuck there. Hey, you want, you want to see? Hey, I can grab it. I can grab it. I can. You watch him, right? But the big, uh, big question people have is, all over the world people have, how is it possible? A guy like Trump has made it to elections in the US. He's on the finals. He's all the way to the finals. How is that possible? There are only two possibilities, you know. Number one possibility, he's Captain Vijay Kant of America. <laughs> <laughs> he's real, he's doing what he is capable of doing, right? And people are not fools. They keep him there, not for the leadership value or anything, but for the entertainment value. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like sometimes you see in a reality show, there'll be this one contestant who is not at all strong, 
but he'll go through the finals people will like him generally like ama avan avan konnume thalla sir talent illa ana super confident ah irukku it's true though right <laughs> and even sometimes judges will eliminate that candidate but the following week out of nowhere suddenly there will be a wild card round <laughs> that contestant will come back basically trump is that wild guy a wild card it's like survivor <laughs> the show survivor that is possibility number 1 the other possibility right he is wiko of america <laughs> basically amma sorry uh, hillary amma has hired him. trump in a bobby need somebody to act and pull this off you think you'll be able to do of course ma'am i have re- 10 years of reality tv experience I oh my it. gosh dude but that's yeah, funny yeah just have to go to the other side and bring that side down completely yeah yeah i have not just a side i'll bring everything down you won't know oh. yeah you have material yeah yeah i have audio tapes and all i'll give you you slowly release one by one it will kill madam it will kill yeah funny doing la pinnit la madam The funny thing, this is recorded back in 2016. Trump won. Trump's the president. But one thing I noticed, you know, that is very different from our Tamil Nadu elections. The U.S. contestants, they keep talking about their families, yeah? They'll be doing the middle of a nasty conversation. Suddenly, Hillary will say, hey, I stand for the families. I, I have a family. I have a granddaughter. In fact, today is her birthday. I care about the future of this country. Please vote for me. This guy also, hey, I also have a family. Nobody else cares about the family like I do. and i have a 10 year old son today today is not his birthday but still <laughs> i care about the future of this country please vote for me yeah that wouldn't that can't work here no in tamil nadu imagine kalinger going hey i have a bunch of families <laughs> oh and they want every business in the state <laughs> obviously i care about the future of this uh, state uh, please vote for me that wouldn't work and what will amma say no <laughs> people i don't have a family <laughs> But I have a friend and she has a big family. <laughs> They want any business in state, please vote for us. <laughs> We are interested in this. Yeah? That will not work. That will not work. For the, in the history of America, for the first time, they have a superstar. They are looking forward to this person coming into the elections at least the next term, the following term at some point. That person is none other than Michelle Obama. You know? First lady Michelle Obama. Yeah, Michelle's fans make some noise. Yeah? <laughs> What a history, right? I mean, first black president and all that. I mean, she gave the scintillating speech supporting Hillary. Right? And after that, the whole America has turned into like Arun Swami in the Roja movie, <laughs> right? Arun Swami goes to, to do this uh, Pornu Pakar, right? That Pornu is uh, Hillary Clinton, Arun Swami is America, and that girl's sister, younger sister, Madhubala is basically Michelle Obama. Yeah, Michelle is saying, "Inga ka, pretty chirku sole, pretty chirku sole, pretty chirku sole." Arun Swami will turn around and say, "Inga inda Pornu pretty chirku." I haven't saying, seen that movie. Hillary, It'd probably be Hillary. a lot Hillary. funnier if I saw the movie. Hillary, madam. <laughs> I think we like you. You know, in a in a reality show, in every reality show, we'll have this passionate, pathos moment, no? Right? One sad moment and all that. Our contestant. Yeah, that's true. Popular contestant is leaving. Our judge is walking. Gotta pull out the heartstrings. Like that, no? They will play a sad song and talk. Okay? See? We move to tears. That kind of a moment. This reality show, U.S. presidential election 2016, also has that pathos moment. Oh that boy. Michelle Obama leaving the White House. Yeah. I wanted to dedicate a song to Michelle Obama. Can we do that? Yeah. Saying goodbye to Michelle Obama. and this song is from the movie karthamma so <laughs> karthamma <laughs> not for the racist reasons only oh. but for the bharati raja like you know deep passionate intellectual from the bottom of the heart like love kind of feeling yeah right let's go with that song jing imagine a guitar here yeah <laughs> jing 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 oh it works see it <laughs> <laughs> works sir golden mother mm-hmm. golden mother punatai mm-hmm. there goes sir golden mother we wish she can stay there longer there is no other first lady like her <laughs> she is leaving legacy in dignity it's best eight years i live in a white house with first of a black lady to be the first lady <laughs> she is the melody behind that super daddy mm. 
give me shella bomb you are a cool model mama you mm. transcended a bow color and reason see you soon back in All right, cool. That's the end of the video. Let me get into my thoughts. So politics aside, okay, I'm not going to get into any of my politics because I, this is not a political channel and I do not want to discuss all of that. Um, okay, but he's funny. He's a funny guy. I mean, he points out like comedians. I, I feel like comedians can be like put into different categories, you know, so like certain comedians, they like to throw a bunch of like one liners out there right um or they will be like a lot of physical comedy like a chris farley they're just kind of physically funny um then there are people that are funny because they state the obvious like certain things that are just so obvious but we all like experience it so it's funny like jerry seinfeld was that kind of comedian jerry seinfeld would you know literally talk about everyday things and make it funny because we all experienced it you know and i feel like alexander babu is kind of that way um he, he would just kind of just talk about things that are happening, you know, at the current time, you know, he's talking about like, hey, like the American election, you know, process is kind of like a game show. You know, if you think about it, you've got and he just takes like such a, a, a big thing, a simple thing like with the, you know, the election of the president. And he goes, OK, so you have all these candidates, you have all these different contests, all these different things, and it breaks down to two. And then you have three rounds. And it's like you break it down in a simple way. And it's actually pretty darn funny because you think about it, you're like, that is it's almost just like Survivor or like another game show. So it's just funny to like hear him talk about something that's such a big process in the world. Right. And then just break it down in such a simple term. And it just makes it funny. So um, I wonder, I don't think I've seen anything else with Alexander Babu. Are there any other funny like videos with him and stuff? I can appreciate this because it obviously talks about the US presidential election. Um, and that's funny to me. Now Trump, look, dude, Trump is a weird looking dude. I'm just gonna say he's a weird looking dude, his hair. And see, that's the other thing. He's just stating the obvious. This guy, what's going on with him? He's talking, but his body language doesn't match. And he's got you know the hair and like, he's doing this with his face all the time. And he's just a weird looking dude. And then Hillary Hillary Clinton, she was just a mess. She was just, just monotone during that whole thing. She just, she thought she had it wrapped up. She thought she was gonna win, and then she's just like, but then she's like, having all those weird episodes of seizures and weird stuff going on with her. I, this was a weird presidential election. It really was. It was like, it was just an odd, an odd time here in the United States, you know. So, um, but anyway, I'm not gonna get into the. Sorry, I hit the microphone. I'm not gonna get into the politics and everything. What I think, but. Anyway, um, just a funny video from Alexander Babu, so I could appreciate that. So if there's other comedians that you guys want me to react to, leave those down in the comments now. Also comment down below, do you like Alexander Babu, okay? So please put those in the comments now. Now, normally what I do now is I take three of your comments, I put you guys up on the screen with me. Because this video was a little bit longer, we're gonna skip right to the quote of the day. We're going straight to quote of the day because we wanna inspire you to make sure that you guys have a wonderful day. So here we go. One cannot and must not try to erase the past merely because it does not fit 